Hold it! What's up? You can't go in the castle. Beat it! Put the weapon down. You may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. See you later. People always talk. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. I know somebody, it. you're in trouble. That's how it goes. There must be something about that story after all. You you're very much a devil. Story every time. Be something about that story after all. You should believe everything you hear.
left. That's really not my problem. Very of you. Same old. That won't happen again. I'm not gonna be hit. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. Who let you in? Thoris. And what do you think you're doing? I have a message for the mages. You work for the mages? I don't want nothing to do with them. Can you teach me to fight? I only train guards. So until Thoris has made you one, you'll have to find someone else. Let me pass. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, You'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden, 
It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? The business with Mordrag is really quite a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to defeat him. Get on with it. There are still many things. Take care. Let's talk about something. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Inos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How does your God prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice, no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle, but for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? 
I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Oh. And where did you get that from? The mages gave you that before they threw you in here, right? You're stupid to tell people about it. But don't worry. I won't tell anybody. But do yourself a favor, and don't tell anybody else about it either. The people here might slit anybody's throat for a thing like that. Most people would love to earn the reward you get for a message from the outside world. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. I'd like to buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. Wasn't very clever. Same old story every time. You're very proud of Hey, you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I, like I could help you. Though. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp, and one of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? That's really not my problem. What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, You'll be with us. Mm, that wasn't very clever. If you some people never learn. 
Let's talk about and how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. There must be something about that story after all. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. How am I supposed to do that? Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? 
I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now, don't even start getting into that habit. It'll do you no good. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging it. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You, you could save yourself a lot by making a learn. small donation. Just ten or man. It ain't much there to ask. Something about that not story not after all. All the anymore. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, we'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. And what if both have paid? Then we sit back and watch the show, but that don't happen too often. What if I don't pay? Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore, and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. Some people never learn. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though, because he...